Alright, hi guys, this is Comedy Dexter Crane, another FVOD, and this game is a TVP on Python. And as you can see, I've been starting a lot of my games with doing the splits before the game. And whenever I do that, look forward to seeing a cheese strategy, because as you know, my videos can't go longer than 10 minutes, and then, unless then I have to put them in part 1, 2, and 3, etc. And so, I have, if I do my videos starting with splits, then I have, that means I have extra time, and I probably, well, I'm pretty sure I have extra time. And so I can basically just show you guys how to do splits. In this game, I did an alright split. I don't know, I find it easier to uh, split SAVs for some reason. I don't know, it's, that's, that's probably just me, or they're bigger or something. I don't know, I just find them really easy to split. I usually split SAVs easier than drones or probes. And yeah, um, so this game, I'm going to show you guys how to do a 8-9 uh, racks in the, in the, what do you call it, in the middle or proxy 8-9 racks. And the strategy is really good because Protoss is known, well, if the Protoss does a double gate, you're fucked, like, to the max. Like, even if, like, Boxer did this, and I did a, t a double gate, uh, two gate, like, 10-12 gate, I can almost guarantee you I'd beat Boxer there, because the strategy is just so aggressive, and if you fail with this, you're so fucked. But yeah, um, so, I'm gonna do a, as you can see, I'll probably, it's actually, his builder is called an 8-8 gate, uh, sorry, 8-8 eight, eight racks. I'm not, I'm pretty sure, I've never actually, like, I don't know the build order for it, but yeah, 8-8 eight, eight racks. Most people just do a 8 racks, but I'm doing a double 8 rack, so I guess this is how you do it. And again, making them right directly in the middle, and then, uh, make, cause, uh, yeah, again, the reason this build order is so good, because Protoss is known for going early Dragoons to, t uh, to match the Turan te technology with their fast factory and such. So yeah, this game basically makes it, so if the Protoss goes fast Dragoons, then the Marines can kill out the Dragoons really badly, and... Protoss, the one way for them to stop this is to use basically a lot of SCVs. And the reason this build order is so effective is because you can bunker the enemy, and if you bunker them, it's really easy to kill off a bunch of their shit. And again, I'm gonna go scout with my SCV and make my marine. And this is where, uh, this is basically an all in build order, and this is where SCVs come in. Uh, you have barely any SCVs. And, um, yeah, quickly before anything gets interesting, uh, go check out sc2gg.com, go check out Motrap Class or Diggity. And come join my clan, uh, uh, it's called EMG, Eastern Manor Gaming, Feb recruiting opens February 23rd, and that's basically it. Alright, yeah, as you can see, I did scout him, and he's saying hi, because, I don't know, he's trying to be nice or something. Anyways, yeah, so I scouted him, and so now I'm gonna bunker this place, and he's gonna have to get, he's probably not gonna be expecting, well, he probably might be expecting something, because, yeah, he's getting two probes to kill my SCV, but I guess I, he's probably not gonna expect I have another SCV coming along. And yeah, so I'm, I'm getting this bunker, and this SCV is probably gonna die. Okay, yeah, the SCV is dead. So now I'm gonna have to remake this bunker with this other SCV. And, uh, come on, bunker, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Bunker's made. Alright, yeah, so, um, he killed that SCV, but no worries, because now I got the bunker made, and now I'll put all my shit in the bunker. And so now this is basically gonna be really hard for him. When I get these two Marines up here, unless he stops them from coming up there somehow, this bunker is gonna be really filled up. And it's gonna be really hard for him to break this bunker unless he gets a dragoon and a bunch of SCVs to beat it. But yeah, um, sorry, a bunch of probes. And as you can see, um, I am basically doing an all-in strategy here because there's no way for me to come back if I lose this rush. And um, yeah, so what do you call it? I'm gonna bring another SCV along there because I need an SCV to make more bunkers and such. And so yeah, I'm gonna. And as you can see, this SCV is here, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna heal this bunker and then make another one soon. Again, killing this gateway because if I kill this gateway, he's gonna have nothing to produce with. I don't know. Maybe kill the dragoon while I'm at it. Okay, he's making two gateways back there, or one gateway back there, I should say. And so yeah, I'm gonna. Well, as long as this gateway dies, he's not gonna have any more production for a while. So yeah, this I need to kill the gateways. Most people think it's better to kill the probes, but this early in the game is good to kill gateways because. It's impossible for them to uh, produce units without gateways. And yeah, he's making two gateways as I expected. And I'm going to make a bunker somewhere else now. And again, trying to kill off a bunch of probes and such because I need to do that to hurt his economy also. And he's trying to... Uh, Marines are really kill out... Ma Marines really kill uh, probes, like, usually. And I'm losing a lot of my probes... Uh, sorry, a lot of my Marines. So I have to get back in the bunker because if I don't, then I'll be screwed. But yeah, um... Again, constantly macroing, and I, I got this other bunker made, and I, I can't let this SCV die because I need this SCV, so I'm making the SCV also go in the bunker, but only until my Marines reach it, and now I'm just going to basically screw him over, and again, he's, I don't know what he's trying to do now, I think this is GG, he, the only chance he had was basically using his probes to kill off my first bunker, but after he didn't kill that off, it was basically GG. And so yeah, I'm just gonna wait for him to leave now because there's no way for him to possibly win. As you can see, even if this build order fails now, I'll probably still be good in this game because I can. My economy is not that hurting anymore. It's still all right. And now he's accusing me for having map back. And now I'm just saying it's either that or you just suck dick. And so yeah, um, I'm kind of BMing him because he's BMing me.
But yeah, um, so yeah, okay. Now my bunker ranges up, up ranges up to his probe. So now he has absolutely nothing mining. And I, on on the other hand, I have like ten marines. Uh, sorry, I have like ten SCVs mining. So yeah, this is GG. And I don't know what he's trying to do. He's trying to run all this shit, which is not gonna go anywhere because. I don't know what the hell he's trying to do. I think he's trying to be a bitch and, like, hide a pile of around the map. But that's not going to do shit because if he tries to do that, I'm just going to stop recording because I don't want this game to go over 10 minutes. And, yeah, so, this, as you guys know, this is GG. Unless he has an expansion, which is extremely, well, well, which is impossible because he cannot possibly have that many units and also have an expansion at the same time. So, yeah, and, yeah, he's, like, I don't know what the fuck he's saying. He's saying I have, I have marine range and I have, like, other shit like that. And I don't know what the fuck he means, but this is GG. Because I don't know why the hell he's still in this game. And there's no way for him to win anymore. I don't know what he's trying to do. He's trying to hide his probes around the map or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is GG. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And look forward to more cheeses. Because I basically covered all the standard build orders. And yeah, this is GG. He left. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And peace out.